Today I'm going to show you how to use some simple floral from Trader Joe's, some dollar store mugs, chargers, and plates, and a few little dollar store vases to decorate your table and get it ready for Christmas morning. First things first, I purchased nine of these chargers because my parents are here visiting, so there's gonna be nine of us Christmas morning. They're plastic, but I like that they're gold, so that way when I wet this dress, the gold will come through on the dots. And we went ahead and sprayed DIY little black dress on them, and they're drying right now. For the center of my table, I'm gonna be using this old Carpenter's Toolbox Tote that we picked up at an estate sale for $20. If you guys follow our Saturday Night Lives and you saw when we picked this, I was gonna sell it at the shop, I was gonna keep it, I couldn't decide it, and then the other day when I decided to redo my tablescape, I knew it would be perfect. I took the entire tote with me to the dollar store so that way I could make sure that what I put in it, I had the right amount and that they fit. It looked a little funny because it was about as big as the cart, but it worked perfectly and I wound up needing 11 of these little bud vases. So I pick up my eucalyptus at Trader Joe's along with my baby's breath. And I'm definitely not a professional florist. I'll just disclose that right now. And I like to just see how many I can fit in each one. And then when I'm all done, I'll trim them down. I'll remove all of the greenery that's below the water line so it doesn't get moldy. And then usually if I come in and change the water about once a week, I can get this eucalyptus to last for two to three weeks. Okay, so I've added some seeded eucalyptus up here, and I've also made sure that my height is mostly in the middle, and I made sure it wasn't completely symmetrical. I wanted it kind of natural and organic looking. I really wanted some skinny bud vases for back here, but I couldn't find them. So I opted for using baby's breath because this is one of those flowers that if you don't have in water, it actually dries beautifully and lasts a really long time. So I've got four bunches of these. They were each $2.99. I really can't say enough about Trader Joe's. I love their flowers and their selection is great for an inexpensive floral arrangement. So I'm just gonna cut these to height the way I want them and just kind of spread it out. And I'm gonna keep stuffing them in here and that'll kind of keep them up. If, if they flop over like that one's broken, be sure to cut it off. You can always just do this, boom. I couldn't find chargers I liked. The gold on these wasn't quite my style. So I'm just gonna take a wet distress and bring a little bit of the gold back and then they'll be ready to seal. I have a damp, lint-free rag and I'm just gonna take and bring back a little bit of the gold around the edge so it really shows off that dotted detail. So what I'm gonna do now is let this water dry off of here and then they'll be ready to seal. Zep's gonna spray these. I wouldn't suggest brushing them because when you're putting paint on a plastic surface like this, it tends to pull off. So if you can get a water-based sprayer and a can of spray or use Big Top or Top Coat in your HBLP, you're good to go. Time to get these sealed up with some Sweet Pickens Top Coat. The last part of this is just setting the table. I didn't have a table runner, but I did have this black and cream wool blanket. So I put that under just to add a little bit of contrast between the table and the toolbox. Zeb spraying these worked out perfectly. I love the little hint of gold, but the black really makes it tie into my design. I layer on a dollar store plate, a hot cocoa mug from the dollar store, and we're good to go. So we're gonna have to keep this like this till Christmas morning. You think we can do that? Probably not. It'll probably have to come <laughs> off. It's all gonna go down and be put back up. The whole tablescape really didn't break the bank. Going to the dollar store and Trader Joe's kept it <laughs> in check. Each place setting cost us $3 plus paint. And then the centerpiece cost me $21 in greenery and then another $11 for the individual vases. What are some tips with helping them spray on plastic? So if you're spraying plastic, do what I call a tack coat, just a real light coat. You do not want full coverage because what'll happen is it's a slick surface. If you get too much paint on there, it'll pull and make little pockets of bubbles and things and then it'll be a rough finish and you won't get good coverage. So it's better to go thin and multiple coats rather than thick and full coverage in your first coat. 
Also, one thing to remember is these are just gonna be hand wipe only. They are not gonna be dishwasher safe once they're painted. But since you're not actually eating on them, it actually works out really well. If you wanna paint plastic and do a similar tablescape at your house, be sure to go to jamierayvintage.com. We used Little Black Dress by DIY and Sweet Pickens Top Coat, both sprayed out of our HVLP. We'll drop the link for that paint sprayer in case you need one. And then also we stopped by the Dollar Tree and Trader Joe's. If you like this video, please share it. Also comment below, let us know what you're having for breakfast Christmas morning. We're gonna be having waffles from Waffle Love, our favorite waffle truck, and bacon. And no, they're not working on Christmas morning. We're buying the dough on Saturday and cooking it up for breakfast. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.